Nissan Bulavinaka and thank you again to the organizers for allowing me to share a brief pre-recorded message with you all tonight. The time difference has made it impossible to participate live, but these are just some key messages that we would like to share with all of you tonight. Um, there's a very strong lineup panelists tonight, um, but this is really just from the Pacific uh, perspective. I think the first really key point that I wanted to really share is that security and defense packs today uh, is about the Pacific, Pacific Ocean, which is our home, but it's never been about, it's never been with Pacific people, uh, let alone our governments. And I think that's highly problematic. When we look at AUKUS, we see AUKUS as just one of a long list of nuclear um, threats and issues that the, the region as a whole is being confronted with. Obviously, the region has had long histories with nuclear armed states, uh, particularly the US, the United Kingdom and France. And increasingly, we're seeing Australia's role um, in these kinds of def defense and security packs. Australia playing different roles, uh, enabler, facilitator, um, sheriff, speaking on behalf of the Pacific and Pacific people's peace, but doing so uh, unilaterally, if you like. So I think this is one of the key messages is that we see Australia playing a role such as a sheriff role, taking decisions around security, which is not aligned with Pacific people's um, immediate priorities around security, in particular human security. I think the second key issue is that the, the region as a whole has been very strong advocates for a nuclear-free Pacific. Um, our governments have opposed nuclear testing. Um, they've opposed the movement of nuclear radioactive, nuclear shipments of radioactive waste. And certainly increasingly with Japan and the Fukushima plants, they have strongly opposed um, the announcement by Japan to dump radioactive uh, water into the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is not a dumping ground for nuclear materials, radioactive materials, nor is it a highway for nuclear submarines. Uh, many of our countries, such as Vanuatu, have long opposed nuclear submarines passing through uh, our EZs. So we have a very strong and long history. We think that it is time that Australia is put on notice. And Australia is a key part of the Pacific Islands Forum. It is a, a party to the Rarotonga Treaty. And we feel that it is time that Australia has been put on notice at the forum. It is clearly part of a neighborhood, but it's acting outside of the norms of Pacific Island countries. And so we think it's time to put Australia on notice. Forced movements. I think it's very clear that we would depend a lot on um, the nuclear uh, and peaceful peace uh, movements in the UK, the US, obviously, but more significantly in Australia to help bring and place Australia on notice, not, also, not just in the region, but also globally. Um, I think it's time that Australia takes seriously considers its role as part of the forum family, um, as part of our neighborhood, and to see what role it seeks to play. We believe that this recent AUKUS decision um, heightens the risks of nuclear threats proliferation in our region. It doesn't lessen it. Um, as I've said before, and I'll say it again, our countries have taken much more nuanced policies with China China is not considered the enemy for many of our countries. They have long diplomatic relationships with China. We do not see China as um, the enemy in this case. But we feel that it's time to send a very strong uh, message to the Australian government and to put them on notice at the forum, uh, even as a, because it's a party to the Waratonga Treaty. On AUKUS, you would have seen that um, Jacinta Ardern, the New Zealand Aotearoa government, has put out a strong statement about nuclear-free New Zealand. Um, 
certainly the Prime Minister of Fiji. Um, we've seen public statements by um, Kiribati, the President of Kiribati, Solomons, and also Papua New Guinea. So increasingly, as civil society and as movements in the Pacific who are rallying around a nuclear-free and independent Pacific, we stand in solidarity with our governments to hold and bring the Australian government and put them on notice first here in the region through the Rarotonga Treaty. So I, I, I send you um, solidarity messages to support um, that we will stand strongly with you all um, to bring the Australian government to account. Thank you.